Hey folks, has this ever happened to you? Squishy, can you cut up that apple? So it's got a little bit of an edge left right there, but as for right where you need it to cut, nothing. Not a, right, it just makes little, <laughs> even where it was hitting, it did, barely did anything. So you could, if you have a knife sharpener ha handy, but this has happened, go to a few friends places, they don't have a knife sharpener of any kind just laying around in the kitchen, right? But everyone has ceramic, you know, mugs, bowls, plates. On the base, you can take your knife, and I don't always use the swirl technique, but it's actually quite handy. And because I'm just dressing this up, just getting a new little edge, kind of like using a leather strop, I'm going very, very shallow, zero to five degrees. And give it a little finish. And now, you gotta cut your apple. I'll try, I'll use my off hand here so my hands aren't in the way. So, suction. <laughs> Liquid on the blade there got a little sticky, but uh, there you go. Do another off hand cut here. So, it's always easier when you're cutting to cut skin side first. But, remember this is the spot here that was actually right dull before. If we, instead of cutting skin side first, we'll go skin side down. Yeah, so that's just a quick little hack, if you will, to get a new edge on a knife. Especially in the kitchen when you just need to get that quickly, quickly dressed up to keep on cutting your, your fruit and stuff. But. Uh, that's great, and it'll last quite a while before you need to dress the edge again. All, right. All cut up. What do you think, Squish? All right, friends. So I went from showing you a hack or an easy way to do something to a little more long-lasting, better way to do something. Let's just move that right out of the way. So if you take something like a file, knife sharpener, or whatever, it's good to start working your edge with that. And then, I've already started wetting it, but I got a stone here, so a 1000 grit, and then a 3000 grit ceramic on it. So This uh, knife does not need it, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your file, and however it's most comfortable for you to hold it properly, left-handed, right-handed, so let me see this will show properly here and I always like to do a very very sl slight angle we're talking probably five degrees I was already playing with the file earlier but like I say this knife doesn't need to be sharpened but if it shows up there for you there it is right there you'll be able to see that I've already been playing with the edge a bit now it needs to be refined but you're gonna work it all with the file right so I'll give you a quick rundown right like and you don't need to push hard but you just need a nice even pressure and even contact. Right? You don't want to have the blade one way or the other. You want the blade on there and you know, not too high and not too flat either. I always like about five degrees, even if it means having to sharpen my knife more often. And then you take it on the other side and you'll do this a few times just to start working the edge, just to start shaping, especially if you have any pitting or anything. Right, and then same, like here's a cutting edge here, dress that. But I've already been doing that earlier, just to get ready for this. And so then, take your block, and on this side first, in fact, let me uh, wet this here. Yeah, that's a bit better. I'm not too worried anyway, I'm just doing a demo here. And so then once again, some people like to swirl, and I find this works just fine. You don't need a lot of pressure, just nice and even, nice and smooth. And you can even, if you can get it all in one pull. Now, I'm trying to do this without bumping the camera here either, right? If you can get it all in one pull, even better. Or, you know, little, just paying attention to your angle that you're doing it at. 
And then the same thing on that other cutting edge. And the other cutting edge. And then just happens to be the way I made the tip. I've got almost like a bonus angle there. Just want to make sure I pay attention to that. Get that tip nice and sharp. And maybe need a little bit more there. Oh, it's looking better. Now it's already going to be very good now because it was already so sharp to begin with. And then on the thousand grit side, or sorry, that was the one thousand grit. This is the three thousand grit side. Same thing. Whether you go in little bits, just paying attention that you've got that angle good. Or if you got to go like that, and you just keep working that until you have the sharpness that you desire. Even if you got to start right over again, right with your file or whatever you're working with, you could even have one of those kitchen sharpeners. It'll all work great. But uh, so that, um, the ceramic cup trick, you know, you're just in a kitchen, you just need to dress up a cutting knife quickly, or this set up here. Both of them work great. This is going to give you a better edge, this is going to last longer, and this is the better method by far, especially if you have a nice block like this, a nice wedding stone. And if you start using oil on a wedding stone, keep using oil. If you start using water, keep using water. And that stone will last you like, well, it's probably five years I've had this, well, it's a combo stone, right? The, the 3000, 1000, whatever combo there, right? So, but there you go. That's a look on how I sharpen.